Hello everyone, I hope you are fine and welcome to the section number 5 and in this section we are going to build an AI based as chat assistant for our website. So now the question is that why we need a chat assistant for our business or our real estate or for any website. So guys, uh, let's get started with that to explore why we need. So uh, in the previous section, we built a chatbot for our e-commerce store and chatbot uh, for the e-commerce store is a different as we are selling the products. But why we need a chatbot, AI-based chatbot assistant for our uh, website, like it could be a business website or consultancy website or for your personal website. Uh, because e-commerce is a different stuff and here you are providing the services so the number one point is that efficient customer support because uh, you cannot many businesses uh, cannot hire a, a dedicated person for the customer support and mainly a startup businesses or you can say that a small level businesses uh, have a low budget so that's why the number one benefit is the uh, efficient customer support other thing is a scalability if you have uh, multiple customers at the same time then AI chatbot assistant will handle all of the load uh, the third point is personalization and in the previous section uh, we already experienced that how AI is revamping the user or customer experience with the help of AI the next point is the data insights. You will get a proper insights uh, of your user chat that what they are expecting or what they are asking from your chatbot. And it will also help you to generate a lead and the competitive advantage obviously uh, you will have when you are using an AI based chatbot assistant for your website. And the last point is the cost effectiveness. Uh, obviously you guys are uh, if you are running uh, a smaller business or you're starting a new business, then uh, you didn't have any budget that you guys can hire a new person for uh, dedicated support. So uh, we have all of these benefits if we use an AI-based assistant for our business website or consultancy or service uh, website. So guys, in the next video, we're going to explore the pipeline uh, overview so guys see you in the next video welcome okay. back guys and in this video we are going to explore a high level overview of our system so uh, let's categorize that we have a chatbot at our website so customer is coming and interacting and our pipeline is taking the uh, uh, input from the chatbot uh, and uh, getting the data from the website and other data sources now uh, you are experiencing some different things here because in the previous section we have all the data from our e-commerce store but now we have a website and other data sources what is mean by that because uh, we cannot share or we cannot put all of our business uh, data onto our website so that's why we can but for example if a customer is asking that uh, uh, show us some of your project links or demos or something that that uh, in this uh, uh, pipeline, we will integrate uh, Notion in our knowledge base as well as our website as well as uh, Google Drive. Uh, uh, you can say that our PDF file or some document file to increase our knowledge base. So that's why uh, this uh, section is uh, different from the e-commerce section. So uh, this is our uh, uh, overview of the pipeline. In the next video, we're going to set up our pipeline. So guys, see you in the next video. Welcome Thank back, you. guys. And in this video, we're going to setting up the knowledge base firstly. Uh, then we will move towards uh, creating a pipeline. So firstly, we need to understand that from our resources, we need to collect the data and put into the knowledge base. So here is my personal website. Actually, it's a dummy website, <laughs> azare.com. It's a different URL, but soon I'm going to create a, my personal website. So here I have uh, some information regarding me. And I'm author, content creator, developer, and there are some vision and other things, okay? And here I have created uh, some uh, Notion pages where I am putting my website sample projects in the URL format. Uh, because uh, displaying the project on the website is a different stuff, but when you are interacting with the uh, chat uh, bots, then it, uh, we need to provide the content in the text format or in the URL format. Or we, or we can say that in a readable format, okay? And the other thing is that IoT project samples are there, social media links are there, okay? So here are my some projects and these are my 
uh, positions that I won uh, during the project. So uh, instead of putting the URL, uh, because maybe it will grab some other URL, so that's why I decided to create a separate pages. And here's uh, my resume that I have uploaded on the Google Drive uh, in the PDF format. So now we need to put these three things into our knowledge base, a website and the notion now I'm going to close this thing and uh, Google Drive uh, document PDF. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, go to the storage and here we need to click a knowledge base for our website. Actually, uh, I am demonstrating all of these things uh, because uh, whenever uh, when you are creating a pipeline for your business website, then you can uh, add all the things uh, where this, uh, what I can say is that So you can uh, create a knowledge base where you can collect the data from different sources. So here we, I need to type my knowledge base name, personal Muhammad Afzal personal uh, website chat bot. Okay, and same in the description and confirm. And here I need to add the documents. Okay, firstly I will put the URL, okay and I'm going to copy that URL, okay. Yes, add, by the way, they have updated for the rescrap URL, so I'm just, uh, you can uh, set the timeline uh, whenever you want to again rescrap this URL on the daily basis, on a weekly basis, or a monthly basis. By the way, this is the new update. Uh, we didn't have this update in the previous section when we are recording the previous section okay so now we are done with the url and other thing is that we can also put the file here uh, by selecting or uploading the pdf document but uh, i want to show you that how the integrations work so okay click on the integration and here we need to select our uh, google drive okay and click on the add and here we need to click on the refresh to get the updated content okay and here is our resume okay uh, click on the save and we are good to go okay now the third integration is a notion we need to click on the add integration and here we need to select the notion where is the notion connect okay okay we are good to go select the pages okay so now I'm not going to access all the pages, just we need the social media links, IoT, article samples, and the website sample projects. We need just access of these three uh, pages, okay? Uh, allow access. And we are good to go with that. So again, we need to go to the story, sorry. I think maybe there is a bug, that's why yeah. sends us back. Okay, so where's the integration? And we need to select the notion, which is which will be available under the blue. Or maybe we can just again click on the notion to connect it again to see. Okay, select pages. Okay, yes, we are already done with uh, this integration and we are good to go okay so yes in the previous we have a bug so now we have an again another integration okay so add here and yes we need to sync all of the pages here with our knowledge base okay and we are done with this now we are ready with the pdf document with our website and with our notion integrations and now we are good to go if you are not finding uh, updated data you just click on the refresh and you will be the good to go okay so guys in the next video we're going to set up the pipeline so see you in the next video have a good day welcome back guys and now it's time to create a pipeline for our personalized ai based chatbot assistant for our website so guys let's get started with that okay just click on the new and we are going to select a pipeline from the scratch here we need to select the input node okay user query okay again we are going to select the knowledge base here and we are going to put this query here and we need to select the personal website knowledge base okay 
and then the LLM open AI okay awesome and here I need to say here Muhammad Afzal is a freelance IOT and web uh, developer you are acting as a, a personalized chatbot or you can say that you are acting as a uh, chatbot for his personal website where you need to answer user questions according to the context okay so now here uh, we need to add user questions exact matching okay user question sorry user underscore questions okay the other thing is that uh, we can also use the underscore to separate these arguments okay and the next is our uh, context okay and now we are going to you can just click on that oh my god use a query question and here's the result and now we need the output okay and I'm I will select the formatted text okay perfect now it's time to save the pipeline where's our uh, Muhammad of the chatbot pipeline okay we're going to say this save things okay done so guys uh, this is our pipeline and in the next video we're going to test uh, our pipeline so guys see you in the next video have welcome a good back guys and in this video we're going to test our pipeline so just click on the run button and here we're going to type some questions for example uh, who is Muhammad Afzal okay just type run and it will give us some sort of answer okay okay awesome Muhammad Abzal is an IT professional with over 13 years of experience okay uh, did uh, did you show me some of his sample projects regarding IOT okay just click on the run okay now is uh, showing me you can check out of some of the sample projects using Arduino. Okay, now the thing is that there's a, some issue. What issue with the chunk size? Actually, we need to just increase our chunks to four, so it fetch uh, a bigger size from the knowledge base. Okay, now again, click on the run. and if you see here now it's i'm sorry there's a no specific sample project here. okay no problem again we need to choose a different model gpt4 turbo which is a little bit expensive but obviously uh, it is a more advanced thing okay click on here run it's taking a little bit more time Okay, now, okay. I like animated versus, but uh, we changed some uh, uh, prompt here. Okay, did he have uh, publications? Okay. yes now if you see here yes Mohammed Abzal has a publication he has published working in the field of internet of things now you have the two and the third is publication demonstrate his engagement okay you can also say uh, show me his work experience okay 
This is another question. Okay, awesome. So now it's giving the response that uh, in which organization I work, he showed the complete details regarding all of the stuff. Okay. So now uh, if the last question is that, uh, how to reach him? Okay. Now uh, it listed that all of the stuff. I, I think there is a, some bug going on in the notion that uh, the system is not taking the data from the uh, notion. But I hope so. I will update uh, their development team and soon they will fix this issue. So guys, uh, this is uh, our pipeline that we have tested in this video. And in the next video, we are going to deploy the chatbot and this time, we will also show the chatbot at our website. So guys, see you in the next video. Have Come a guys day. to the last video of that section. And in this video, we're going to deploy a chatbot. So click on the deploy button in the top and chatbot. And I need to provide the name Muhammad Afzal chatbot for website. Okay. And already pipeline uh, is already selected there. So click on the save and functionality you can change the color or anything in the previous section uh, we already explored uh, different options there and now click on the deploy and we have the code okay now at that time we're going to embed our chatbot into the website so just click on that copy and this website is built on wordpress so in the wordpress if you want to add some script or things then you just need to uh and you you just have a plugin called header and footer so firstly we need to install that plugin if you already have then you can just navigate to your plugin okay here insert header and the footer this is the plugin name in the wordpress that you guys can use to add any additional script so i'm going to use that plugin which is developed by wp brigade click on install now and click on activate after plugin installation, you have its menu under the settings here, okay? Just click on the WP header and the footer, and we need to put that script in the footer, okay? Uh, save changes, and we need to refresh our page. Yeah, we have our chat part there. Uh, now, we already discussed uh, that issue. They are working to fix this issue. They will put that uh, chatbot icon in the right bottom corner of the website and it will not occupy more space. So now, right now, this is a bug. But the main thing is that we need to demonstrate you how you can embed a chatbot into the website. Okay, so here, uh, type the thing. Who is Muhammad Afzal? I can just uh, enter a query and you will get a response. Okay. Actually, due to the uh, chatbot, uh, sorry, GPT-4, it's taking a little bit time. We can also use the chat GPT-432K tokens uh, to enhance our results. Okay, here um, they're providing all the information. Okay how to reach him all right we can say that how to contact him perhaps so this time we will get faster results yes okay we have a faster results uh any publications yes so, but now the issue is uh, that uh, I think there is a, some sort of limitations of the text with the uh, GPT-432K model. But in the previous video, we tested that if we are using that model, uh, GPT-4 Turbo, then it's giving a perfect result on that. So guys, uh, in this video, we learned that how we can deploy 
uh, chat bot uh, or we can say that indicate into our website so guys in the next section we are going to explore how we can link our chat bot with the whatsapp to advance our business or advance our business future so guys see you in the next section have a good day bye, -bye.